All right, more absolute insanity from the charismatic cult movement that is just constantly coming out of this wicked movement. Uh, this time you have Todd White, uh, false uh, charismatic false prophet, coming out and saying that, basically denying that Satan can also do miracles and that miracles can be done by the power of Satan too because he's trying to validate his charismatic faking of the Jewish gifts of the Spirit, the, the sign gifts that are for the Jews. Again, 1 Corinthians 1.22, 1 Corinthians 14.22, Joel chapter 2 verses 28 to 32, Acts chapter 2 verses 16 to 21, Exodus chapter 4 verses 28 to 30, Exodus chapter 7 verses 3 to 5, Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 34. I mean, scripture after scripture after scripture. The signs and wonders were for the Jews, but these charismatic false prophets and false apostles are trying to twist that and make it for today to validate their faking of the gifts of the Spirit. But here it is, Todd White says that the devil can't do miracles and teaches us a new charismatic expression. This is from Protestia.com. Uh, typical heresy is from the wicked charismatic cult movement that it is. And there is the funny long hair, you know, which is forbidden in 1 Corinthians 11. But it says, uh, a Todd White sermon has brought us a couple of little tidbits of bad theology and has broadened our vocabulary by teaching us some charismatic jargon, giving us an inside school of what happens during a youth conference when everyone is at full throttle. Uh, last year, there was hope that White had repented of his false gospel. Uh, which, when he specifically said in the message, quote, I feel like I've just seen something completely brand new. This is hard for people, huh? Uh, it's hard for me. It's hard for me because I feel like I haven't preached the whole gospel, and I repent, I repent. But then within a few days, he clarified that he didn't really uh, mean it like that. Uh, in a message given to his church, White teaches that it, it is a demonic doctrine to teach that he, any healing signs and wonders might be caused by the devil, insisting that he cannot uh, have anything to do with it. He says that all sickness comes from the devil, and it is twisted and stupid to say that God might use sickness to build character. Uh, we're going to see from scripture that, yes, Satan can actually perform miracles and lying signs and wonders, which is what the charismatics are doing. They're doing lying signs and wonders by the power of devil spirits. It's that simple. He says, uh, quote, It's a demonic doctrine to say that if somebody prays for healing and they get healed, the devil did it. If I'm praying in Jesus' name for somebody to get healed and they get healed and the devil did it, we'll all pack our bags. If I'm praying in the mighty name of Jesus for someone's deaf ear to open and it does, the devil had nothing to do with it except run. Run. I must run out of this here right now and get out of here. This is the only thing you have to do. Leave. Uh, when someone gets healed, all healing comes from God. Uh, chapter and verse, please. Where does all healing come from God? But of course, scripture doesn't matter to the charismatic cult members because they go by their feelings and experiences over the word of God. He says, all sickness comes from hell. Okay, first of all, Satan's not the one who runs hell. I want to first point that out. Okay, hell, okay, I do believe Satan is Apollyon. I do believe that. He is the, um, of course, Satan is a cherub. I'll point that out. Satan is a cherub, but he appears as an angel of light. I do believe he is Apollyon, you know, the king over the, the bottomless pit, the underworld, you know. But Satan is not the one who ultimately runs hell. Satan has the, has will be given the keys to open the bottomless pit. And also, I should point out, I do believe the bottomless pit and hell are two different places. Again, it's a bit of a side issue, but uh, Satan has the keys to the underworld. I'll put it that way. And But he's given that by Jesus Christ. Okay, he doesn't run the underworld. Okay, he does have keys, and I do believe that uh, there are creatures and beings in the underworld. I've covered that in the video about creatures and beings in the underworld. But ultimately, it's Jesus Christ who runs hell. Let me show you some scripture on that. Uh, the book of Luke, because this is this is common. By the way, I want to point this out too. This is this is common uh, charismatic uh, mumbo jumbo to basically say that oh, you know, it's it's. Um, Satan, you know, Satan has a throne down in hell. Now, again, Satan is the angel over the uh, bottomless pit. I do believe that, over the underworld. But uh, I'll show you from scripture that Jesus Christ is the one who ultimately has control over the underworld. And he has to give Satan the keys to the bottomless pit. Again, it's a bit of a side issue, but uh, it's a common charismatic false doctrine to say that, oh, Satan has some kind of throne down in hell. When they have these supposed uh, visits to hell, they see Satan down there, which is ridiculous. Uh, where 
is it? Yeah, here it is. Uh, Luke chapter 8, verses 30 to 31. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. What is the deep? The bottomless pit, the underworld. That's the deep. And he, they're saying, please don't send us there. Why? Because Jesus Christ has ultimate control over the underworld. Okay, Satan has the keys to it. He's given the keys to it during the time of Jacob's trouble. But Jesus Christ has the ultimate control over the underworld. So to say that, oh, that's a lie out of the pit of hell, that's really not accurate. Because you read in Luke chapter 16, when the rich man goes to hell, he's speaking truth. He is speaking, you know, he's, he's realizing the truth. So while Satan is given the keys to the bottomless pit, it's ultimately Jesus Christ who, run, who, who has ultimate control over the underworld. Again, a bit of a side issue, but this is common charismatic false doctrine to say that Satan has some kind of throne down in the underworld. Okay? It's ridiculous. Satan is not doing anything uh, with regarding the underworld without Jesus Christ's permission. But he says, uh, 2,000 years ago, all sickness came from the devil. 2,000 years later, people have come up with all kinds of things. Well, no. God does it because he wants to make you a better person. God is trying to build character. Look, God doesn't make doesn't have to make you sick to build character in you. That's so twisted and so stupid. Um, God doesn't make you sick. Uh, read 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 28 to 32. The chastening of God. Um, he can make you sick as a form of chastening. If you're in sin, if you're in unrepentant sin, he can make you, he can wreck your health. He can send sickness upon you as a way to chasten you, uh, as a father would chasten his children, if you're in sin. So yes, God does send sickness. It can be as a form of chastening. What about the plagues in Egypt? He sent the boils. So no, not all sickness comes from Satan. That's, that's a false doctrine. Okay, as a form, again, as a form of chastening to a sinning Christian, God can uh, send sickness. But that's the end of the, uh, the article. Uh, they see they they go over some scriptures about how, you know how there can, be uh, uh, how there can be, you know miracles performed by Satan. Now, uh, this is a dangerous doctrine saying that oh all it, it's all it's always uh, it's satanic to say that you know that uh, there can be signs and wonders performed by Satan. Well, I'm going to show you what the Word of God says about that. Let's turn to the scriptures. Something that most charismatics don't often do is turn to the scriptures and show the people scripture. It's always, oh, I said, I saw, I feel, I believe. But it's never, what say the scriptures? Matthew chapter 24, verse number 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets who shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect false Christ and false prophets doing signs and wonders. Um, by whose power are they doing that? The Holy Spirit? I don't think so. By Satan. By devil spirits. Uh, another good scripture. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Uh, sorry, verse 8 actually. Verses 8 to 9. And then shall that wicked be revealed. That wicked is referring to the Antichrist. Uh, or the man of sin, properly called. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. So the lying signs and lying wonders are from Satan, by the power of Satan, right there. It destroys this whole idea, oh, it, it's satanic to say that, oh, you know, uh, Satan can do signs and wonders. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, uh, 8 to 9, whose you know, coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and, and lying wonders. So yes, Satan can perform lying signs and wonders. Revelation chapter 13, verses 11 to 15. Let's go there. Revelation 13, verses 11 to 15. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire to come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast. Again, compare it with Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eight to nine. How are these miracles being performed by the power of Satan? Uh, saying to them that dwell on the earth, and that they that they should make an image to the beast, uh, which had the wound by the sword and did live. 
And he gave power and life unto the image of the beast, and the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay? Signs and wonders can be performed by Satan. They're lying signs and wonders. Again, uh, back in the book of Exodus, how the um, the uh, Egyptian priests were performing, you know, they're using enchantments and witchcraft to perform, you know, signs and wonders to basically try to counteract the the miracles that God was doing, the plagues that God was sending as well. So Satan can perform lying signs and wonders, but this is just how the charismatic try to validate their, you know, faking of the gifts of the Spirit. It's that simple. They're faking of the sign gifts that were for the Jewish people. Again, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22, 1 Corinthians 14, 22, Exodus chapter 4, verses 28 to 30, Exodus chapter 7, verses 3 to 5, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 34, Joel chapter 2, verses 28 to 32, Acts chapter 2, verses 16 to 21, etc., etc., etc. So don't be deceived by this wicked charismatic uh, cult movement. They are doing miracle miracles by the power of Satan. It's that simple. And they, and they lie to you and say, oh, it's it's demonic to say that it can be done by the power of Satan. Scripture says otherwise. But of course, charismatics don't really care about Scripture. But what do you expect? They're Pharisees. That's all they are. So don't be deceived by this wicked charismatic movement. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.